Am I experiencing a bout of depression? Yeah. We're approaching two years into this panorama and we're still in it. As <laughs> much as a lot of people don't think we are. Maybe they don't work in industries where they don't work at all, where they don't have to worry about money. So maybe it doesn't affect them, but for a majority of people, they still feel that. Hold on, let me brush my teeth. I feel like I'm mourning the life that I had before the pandemic. And I thought I had mourned that already. And I had been, I had in a way, I have in a way. I've released what was. However, I feel like I'm now in a new chapter of mourning because there have been a couple of things that have abruptly shifted in my professional relationships that I have to mourn again in a different way. And although I trust what's happening, although I trust the universe and I know it's for my to, for me to show up as my highest self, I know that when I've been praying on, you know, removing barriers, removing distractions to put me, keep me focused on the path that the higher purpose wants me on for my God-given gifts to thrive and to be shared with the world to help the world to heal, to bring communities together. Um, I knew there would be results. And these are the results that I am receiving, that I have received. And <sighs> I'm just mourning. I'm mourning that. I'm mourning the fact that I most likely won't be going back to the lifestyle that I had in the capacity I had it. And that's okay because I want to be able to continue doing the things that I love to do, traveling the world, performing, um, but in the capacity of my own artistry, however that looks like, whether it be me merging into TV and film through my songwriting, whether it be me stepping out as a solo artist with my own music, whether it be a, a culmination of both. But I know that I needed to, I need the safety net to be removed, if that makes sense. Sometimes when you have in the back of the mind, in your mind that you know, oh, you can rely on this gig, you can rely on this artist, or you can rely on, you know, these relationships, you don't move as intentionally, you don't move as energetically toward other goals that you may have because you're like, oh, you know, I'll get to it when I get to it. But, you know, I do have these other things to fall back on and that's gonna sustain me. But when those things are removed and it's just you, which is what I'm experiencing now, it's scary, but I'm excited. I'm excited because I feel like through these years, almost two years now that I've been down here with my in my parents' house. I moved during the pandemic. Um, it's giving me a lot of time and space to figure myself out, to really just face a lot of things, heal from a lot of things, um, be present for myself in many ways that I was ignoring with the busyness of what I did for a living and not needing to slow down because I didn't have the time and you know all of the inner interior uh suppressed emotions that i was having came to the surface and came at a head when i came down here and i realized i had a lot of work to do and that's fine that's fine that i had a lot of work to do i need to hop in the shower because i gotta go to work <laughs> um yeah so all this to say, I'm starting this new journey on YouTube because 
I want to share more. I want to talk more. I want to commune more. I want to... I want to express myself more. I want to show the struggle of being an artist during the pandemic, starting over, still being young and not scared of my age, not scared of losing time, but instead of, instead looking at it as I have all the time in the world. So, yeah. All right, so I have this part-time job at Whole Foods, as Shark mentioned by now. It's fine, I'm only there <sighs> four days a week. I would love to be there three days a week, but maybe one day a week. But anyway, it helps, supplemental income. It's not too much of a demanding job. I work in whole body, so. Lotions, potions, supplements, body care. The whole nine. As a Taurus, I we love lotions and potions. So, and I'm learning a lot because there's just so many vitamins and supplements that I had never heard of, and just learning about them and their functionalities, and it's pretty cool actually. So I actually am not complaining. I mean, a few more dollars on the pay would be nice a, a week. I mean, an hour. But, yeah. Pray that I never need to go full time. So that's where I'll be headed today. But I head off tomorrow. I head off yesterday and the day before that, so. I'm happy about that. Gives me more time to work on my creative projects. Working on something for Black History Month that I'm hoping to put out on Wednesday, on the 3rd of February. Hope it goes over well. And I'll show you guys, you know, my process. Ooh, pits are hairy. And, yeah. from Amazon but they're too small so I'm just gonna put my hair in a low bun call it a day not even a low bun a low pony I have to wear an apron at work so like y'all the outfits are always giving a little something though I get constant compliments just because I know how to put an effortless look together but um I mean, if I could really get dressed the way I want to get dressed, that would be a whole different story. Where are my earrings that I want to wear? Obviously, I'm going to see to vlogging. So, lighting isn't going to be perfect in this first vlog. That's okay. Because I'm showing you the reality of my life. I'm showing you the actual chaos. So welcome, welcome. Hmm. Okay, this is all I'm doing. My version of putting on makeup is putting my contacts in. <laughs> so that's what we're giving today, guys. Um, yeah, probably throw on some Doc Martens. Or maybe I'll throw on just some white trainers. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but that's what I'm giving today.
I am arrived in my section. starting my second love journey. <laughs>